Hey everyone, welcome back to Judo Highlights. Let's have a look at Shavdat Tuashvili, who took gold at the 73 kg category at Paris. If you don't know who he is, well, I don't know where you've been, maybe living under a rock, but he is a living Judo legend. Been at three Olympics, picked up every possible medal there is, world champion as well, so uh, he's definitely done it all and a legend judoka. So round two, up against the Brazilian, Koda, left versus right, and Shavda Tuashvili, he's just, he knows everything about the game. He knows exactly what he, he needs to do, you know, to not get shidos, to, to look strong in the position, and of course, throw people to the ground. So, to be honest, I didn't know he had a seo inage, but, you know, you see him using it here. He's quite well known for his uh, Ochigari, which we'll see later on. Into the quarterfinal now against Gaba from France. Another left versus right situation. But you can see that, you know, he switches between groups really well. He's always in a position that he likes. He's really, really strong. His stamina is really great. His defense is amazing. And here's that Ochigari, you know, it just comes out of nowhere. It's really unique and I'm gonna make a video about this later on but um, you know what makes an elite judoka an elite judoka and I think one of the big things is just a really really unique gripping strategy or a really really unique throw. Uh, you look at Ono Shohei, he's got his amazing uh, Osotogari and Uchimata, Shavda Tuashvili, that Ochigari you know his incredible stamina and just strong Georgian gripping. The top judoka have a really unique style and it's quite obvious. Hashimoto, who was in the final, he ain't shoved out to us really today. Uh, another example. So, uh, this quarterfinal, probably one of the longer matches outside of the, the final for shoved out to us really. Gaba put on a uh, good effort, but, you know, ended up losing the match just to the the patience and and the skill and the experience of shout out to us really so look, this is golden score now and any score is going to win it right so shout out to us really takes a dominant grip a grip he loves goes in for his his amazing ochigari tries it again pressure so much pressure on the outside of the mat and now Gaba, he's thinking, well, man, am I gonna get, am I gonna get Shiro out of this match? He's looking tired. Shaft out to us really isn't. Forward pressure, moving forward, big grips that he likes. And you know, Gaba just shoved out to us really just forced him into an error. You know, just a, a nice little bit of Tawaza gets the score. So in the semi-final now against the, the Uzbek. Judoka, Akadov, and Akadov, he's not maybe one of the more popular members of the uh, Uzbekistan team, but I like his style, real aggressive, maybe it's just his facial expressions, but <laughs> he looks like a really scary mean guy, but here we see that Seoine again, not quite enough to score a Wazari, to be honest I thought it probably should have been a Wazari, but this is what Shavda Tashvili is doing, playing the game incredibly well. He's attacking aggressively, looking for a score, doesn't always get it, but it forces, you know, his opponents to, to get penalized and he, you know, generally stays on the good side of the cards. So in the semi-final, you know, Shavda Tashvili's pressure, his constant attacking, his good defense, ends up uh, having Akadov getting three shittles to his name, and we're into the final. And for some strange reason, they did these weird camera angles for the final, but, I mean, why zoom in on the, the, the top half or the lower half? Mate had been called, called no score here. You can see Shaftar Touch really just attacking from every direction, every angle, gripping and going. And if you know Hashimoto, I think he's got a really restricted kind of style. He, he's got two or three specific grip setups that he really likes. And if he doesn't have those, he's not going to do anything. And this is why I think you see 
Hashimoto lose quite often to three Shidos, and that's the case here. So, we see a Shido going both ways to shove out Tashvili and Hashimoto, but eventually, the experience, the pressure, the aggression, shoved out Tashvili just, you know, does enough to put enough Shidos against Hashimoto's name. You can see Hashimoto's trying, but Shafta Tashvili is just, he's happy with any group. And Hashimoto wants one particular group. He's trying to break that, that sleeve now. Poor camera angle. But he can't get it off. Shafta Tashvili's his grip on that sleeve is too strong. So it's interesting, you know, Ono Shohei managed to beat him, but Hashimoto couldn't. So imagine if they picked Hashimoto instead of Ono. They definitely wouldn't have, but... It's interesting. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Peace out. I'll see you later.